All the great things that have been given to humanity are the result of relationships that are meaningful and purposeful, where devotion has been experienced and expressed. Great individuals, great creators, great inventors, great scientists, great spiritual leaders all had tremendous relationships behind them, both in the visible and the invisible realms. Their ideas did not come from them. They came from beyond the world and were translated through them into the world in the form that could be recognized and used. What is genius but a mind that is connected to a greater mind? Being smart or witty, clever or quick, are not signs of intelligence. People will say, well, my friend is doing such a foolish thing, but he's such a bright person. He's such a smart person. But that person is doing something very foolish or damaging. Is this an expression of intelligence? No. Intelligence emerges from knowledge. It is the ability to see, to know and to act. It is the ability to carry on an activity or action in the world effectively. Intelligence is knowledge and wisdom working together. It is the truth and the mechanism for expressing truth working in harmony together. This is an expression of intelligence. You have this intelligence. It is born of knowledge within you. And you can experience it. It demonstrates a greater power and a greater possibility for humanity. As we are telling you these things, perhaps you will realize that advancement for humanity, in whatever field you might consider, has been the result of the efforts of a relatively small number of people who were committed, who were devoted and who had great allies. This is the evidence of God's work in the world. In spite of all of the calamities and all of the tragedies, all of the addictions and all of the difficulties that prey and prevail upon humanity and human relationships, the work of God carries humanity forward. If God were not in the world, humanity would simply destroy itself. There would be no motivation for greater things. There would be no yearning for truth. There would be no real kindness. There would be no real dedication or recognition. Humanity would destroy itself. God is like the air. Everyone breathes the air, but few pay any attention to it. Everyone is sustained every moment with every breath. Their bodies depend upon each breath in order to live in the next moment. Cut off this supply of air and the person dies quickly and everything comes to an end. God is like that so pervasive, so present, so supportive and so nourishing. And yet God is not recognized, God is not understood, God is not revealed and God is not experienced. God is, of course, greater than the air that you breathe. However, this example can help you understand what we are saying. What we are presenting here is beyond the normal range of human understanding. You must stretch, open yourself and reach high to have this awareness. This leads to the true experience. Become a student of knowledge. Learn the way of knowledge. Take the steps to knowledge. Let knowledge rearrange your priorities. Let knowledge straighten your life out. Let knowledge guide, direct and protect you. Let knowledge foster a greater intelligence within you. Let knowledge direct you in your relationships and in your evaluations. Become still like knowledge. Become penetrating like knowledge. Become insightful like knowledge. Become devoted to others like knowledge. Find your true allies. Find your purpose. Allow your true work in the world to emerge as other things are set aside willingly, happily and with relief. As you make progress here, God's presence in the world will become something that you will feel and know, rather than something that you struggle to believe in. And in spite of all the tragedies and difficulties that you and others may face in all of the tribulations of physical life, you will know that God is with you. You will know that you are headed towards God, and you will know that you have something important to do. You will know this because God is in the world.